Welcome to Buy Profitable Houses channel. Today I will be defining the common terms in real estate investment. I'll like you able to speak the same lingo with your mortgage banker and realtor. That way you can always negotiate better. You know what I mean. My name is Hayo Hoybody and I am your host. And thank you for subscribing to this channel. It is time to fasten your seat belt and let's ride. Get your note paid and let's start. Ability to repay ATR. This implies a loan applicant's capacity to repay his or her debt obligation. Factors considered in the ability to repay include the borrower's income, assets, employment status, liabilities, credit history, and a debt to income ratio. Imagine that an applicant with no ability to repay, that is no ATR will most likely default in payment. Acceptance. Acceptance is a term that signify that you agree, usually in writing to the terms of a contract. Adjustable rate mortgage (ARM). Adjustable rate mortgage is a mortgage term that allow your interest rate as well as your monthly payments to change periodically depending on the fluctuation of an index. Amortization. Amortization is the spreading out of a loan and interest payment into series of fixed installment payments. An amortization schedule identifies the total amount of the periodic payment, the portions of interest, the principal repayment, and the remaining balance of the loan. You can browse through our channel for video on how to create amortization schedule. Annual percentage rate (APR). Annual percentage rate is the price you pay in total for the loan expressed as a percentage. The APR includes all costs like the administrative, interest rate, origination fee, closing costs and whatever cost that is being factored into the loan. APR is very important because it will help you avoid a surprise. Imagine a scenario where a lender told you that an interest is say 2% and on that basis, you decided to reject another loan of say 2.5%. But what you forgot to check are the other costs of the first loan. which may cause the total cost of the loan to be about 6% of the loan while the total cost of the second loan that you rejected may be just 3%. With your knowledge of the APR you are more likely to avoid unpleasant surprises. Appraisal An appraisal is the professional valuation of a property in order to estimate the current market value of such a property. This is usually necessary for a property built say for example 60 years ago and cost $30,000 then. The question then will be how to determine its true worth as at today. It is highly possible that the same property will be worth about $3 million as at today or as possibly deteriorated in worth just $3,000. Whichever way, the appraisers are trained to do the professional evaluation of the property. appreciation appreciation implies an increase in the value of property over time imagine that the house built 60 years ago for $30,000 is now appraised as $3 million it means the house appreciated by 1000% balloon loan according to the consumer financial protection bureau cfpb The loan loan is a larger than usual one-time payment at the end of the loan term. If you have a mortgage with a balloon payment, your payments may be lower in the years before the balloon payment comes due. Meanwhile, you are owing a big amount at the end of the loan. In other words, in a balloon loan, there is a lump sum payment to be made at the end after series of initial payments. Bridge loan. In literal term, A bridge loan is an in-between funding or connecting funding between the termination of one loan and the start of another loan. A practical example of where bridge loan can be used is when you are buying and selling a house at the same time. Imagine that the current home is worth $180,000 with outstanding debt of $80,000. The new house has a tag price of $280,000 and you do a 20% down payment which is $56,000. You may be able to get a bridge loan of 80% of your current home value. which will be equal to $144,000 enough to pay the outstanding debt of 80,000. 
you will then have 64,000 for 56,000 down payment plus a provision for a closing cost of 12,000. Broker. A broker is usually an intermediary that connects a seller to a buyer. Call loan. Call loan is a provision in the loan that gives the lender the right to demand to be repaid full payment after a specific period or at any time. Cash out refinance. Cash out refinance is an opportunity you take when you decide to take a new loan for more money than what you owed on the existing loan and receive the difference in cash possibly for down payment of a new project or for a home improvement. Certificate of Eligibility Certificate of Eligibility is a document issued by the federal government certifying a veteran's eligibility for a Department of Veterans Affairs VA, loan. Certificate of Title A Certificate of Title is an official document that shows who is the legal owner of a property. Chain of title. Chain of title is the history of all of the previous owners and the sequential transfer of the title up to the recent owner. Clear title also known as clean title is a property title that is free of liens or disputed legal questions as to ownership of the property. Closing costs. Closing costs are the administrative expenses incurred when obtaining your loan. Such expense may include loan origination fees, attorney's fees, discount points, appraisal fees, title searches, title insurance, surveys, taxes, deed recording fees, and credit report charges. Closing Disclosure CD, is a document providing a borrower the final details about the loan, the terms of payment and the cost of funds such as interest rate, projected monthly payments, and the closing costs. Co-borrower. Co-borrower is the additional person who applies and shares liability for repayment of a loan with you and is fully obligated under the terms of the loan. Collateral. Collateral is something of value, such as a car or a home, that is pledged as security for the repayment of a loan. The borrower usually agrees to forfeit such asset if the loan is not repaid. It's comparable otherwise called comps, are the recently sold similar homes within same location to the home you are looking to buy in order to find the fair value of your target home. Conforming Loan a conforming loan is a mortgage that conforms to the standardized rules and guidelines of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are the government-sponsored mortgage companies that own many of the home loans in the U.S. You can browse through this channel for a detailed video on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Compound Interest In simple term, you earn compound interest when you reinvest your principal plus original interest to earn another level of interest. Conventional Loan Conventional loan is a type of mortgage loan offered by lenders that is not insured by the federal government. Check out our video on conventional loan on this channel. Cost of Funds Index COFI. Cost of Funds Index is an index that is used to determine interest rate changes for certain types of mortgage loans and securities. According to Freddie Mac, it is calculated as the sum of the monthly average interest rates for marketable treasury bills and marketable treasury notes, divided by two, and rounded to three decimal places. The federal Kofi is made available by Freddie Mac on or about the 20th day of each month. Covenant Covenant is a promise or guarantee in a mortgage or deed made by the mortgager to ensure or restrict from certain uses of the property, such that if violated, may result in loss or foreclosure of the property. Credit Report Credit Report is a statement detailing an individual's record of debt repayment. These records are sourced from banks, credit card companies, collection agencies, and governments. 
It is a kind of report card lenders and other companies view when deciding to do business with you. Check out a video on how to correct error or own your credit report on this channel. Creditor A creditor is an organization or individual that you are owing money. An example is your bank or the landlord with your due rent. Debt to Income Ratio DTI Debt to Income Ratio is a calculation of the amount of debt that you are paying monthly in relations to your income. Imagine that you are earning the sum of $4,000 monthly, you definitely will never want to be paying a monthly debt of $3,800. That means your debt to income ratio for this example is 3,800 divided by 4,000, which is 0.95, which 95% debt to income ratio. With such high DTI, no lender will want to loan you money. You will be considered highly risky. DEET DEET is a legal document used by a person to transfer a property or rights to another person. Default. You defaulted, when you failed to make your mortgage payments on time or meet the terms of your loan. Down payment. Down payment is the amount of money that you put down as your contribution beside the loan you are getting towards the purchase of your home. Down payment may be as low as 3% or a 3.5% for FHA loan. Due on sale clause. Due on sale clause is a provision in a mortgage contract that allows the lender to demand repayment in full upon a sale or transfer of the property that serves as security for the loan. Earnest money. Also termed as good faith deposit is the amount of cash you put down, usually in an escrow account, to show your seriousness in buying a property. Equal Credit Opportunity Act, ECOA. According to the Federal Trade Commission is an act that prohibit discrimination on the basis of race, color, religion, national origin, sex, marital status, age or receipt of public assistance. Check out our explanatory video on Equal Credit Opportunity Act ECO on this channel. Escrow Escrow is a contractual agreement to deposit funds with a third party, to be held until a specific condition is met. Fannie Mae Fannie Mae is the nickname for Federal National Mortgage Association, a government-sponsored privately owned enterprise that buys and securitizes mortgages for resale in the secondary market. More like. Browse through this channel to check out our explanatory video on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Federal Housing Administration, FHA. This is an agency within the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development. The FHA provides mortgage insurance for the FHA loan type and sets standards for underwriting these mortgages and for the construction of homes secured by these mortgages. Fee simple. Fee simple means absolute ownership of a piece of property, free of any other claims. With fee simple, the owner of the property is free to do whatever he want on the land in accordance to the local zoning ordinances. FICO FICO this is an acronym for Fair Isaac Corporation, which develops the mathematical formulas used to produce credit scores for assessing credit risk. FICO scores fall between a low of 300 and a high of 850. The higher the FICO score, the lower credit risk a consumer presence. The range is 800 to 850 is an exceptional score. 740 to 799 is very good. 670 to 739 is good. 580 to 669 is fair. 300 to 579 is a poor score. Fixed Rate Mortgage A fixed rate mortgage is a home loan with a predetermined fixed interest rate for the entire term of the loan. Flood Zones Flood zones are areas identified by FEMA, the Flood Emergency Management Authority, as special flood hazard area, inundated by the flood event having a 1% chance of being equaled or exceeded in any given year. Forbearance Forbearance is when your lender allows a temporary pause of your monthly loan payments. You will however have to pay the paused payment later. Foreclosure Foreclosure is a legal procedure of taking possession of a property or asset used as collateral when the mortgager defaulted in the mortgage payment. Freddie Mac Is the nickname for the Federal Home Loan Mortgage Corporation, 
a government-sponsored privately owned enterprise that buys and securitizes mortgages for resale in the secondary market. Browse through this channel to check out our explanatory video on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Ginnie Mae. This is the nickname for Government National Mortgage Association, a government-owned corporation within the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development HUD. Created by Congress on September 1, 1968. The goal is to expand affordable housing by guaranteeing to investors the on-time payment of mortgage-backed securities MBS, even if homeowners default on the underlying mortgages and the homes are foreclosed upon. Home Equity Line of Credit HELIC. A home equity line of credit or HELIC is a revolving credit line. It is secured by the equity you have built in your home and can be used as needed, like a credit card. You only pay interest on what you draw from your HELIC. Browse through this channel to check out an explanatory video on this channel on what is HELIC. Homeowner's Insurance This is a form of property insurance that is packaged to protect you financially when your home is damaged. Income Property Income property is a property that is acquired solely for purpose of generating income. Inflation Inflation is the measurement of the rate of increase in prices of goods and services in an economy. You can browse through this channel to check out our explanatory video on inflation and the economy on this channel. Jumbo Loan Jumbo Loan is a type of loan that exceeds the limit set by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. This type of loan is also termed non-conforming mortgage loan. You can check out types of loan for explanatory video on this channel. Liabilities Liabilities are your financial obligations or debt such as your mortgage, car loan, payable rent. Lien Lien is the legal right to possess the property of a borrower that was pledged as collateral until the debt is paid. Line of Credit Line of credit is an agreement by a lender to extend a preset amount of money for a specified time. Loan Estimate LA. According to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, Loan Estimate is a three-page form that a lender must give to a loan applicant within three days of loan application, to detail the estimated interest rate, monthly payment, and total closing cost of the loan. Loan Origination Loan origination is the process by which a borrower applies for a loan and the mortgage lender review the application and afterwards approve it for disbursement or reject it due to non-compliance with the loan requirement. Manufactured housing Manufactured housing is a form of building that is fabricated at another location and transported to its permanent location. Mortgage. Mortgage is a legal agreement that gives the lender the right to take over your building if you fail to repay your loan plus interest. Mortgage-backed security, MBS. A mortgage-backed security is an investment package that is very similar to bonds. For MBS, groups of home loans and other real estate loans are pulled together and sold to investors. Investors in MBS receive periodic payments similar to bond coupon payments. Multifamily Residence Multifamily residence is any kind of residential property with more than one individual housing unit it can be a duplex, triplex, quadplex or more. Note A mortgage note is a promissory document that you sign at closing, stating that you will pay what you owe. Owner-occupied An owner-occupied, property is a property that the owner occupies as a principal residence. Per diem interest Per diem is a Latin word for per day. Per diem interest is therefore the interest charged on a loan daily. It is calculated by multiplying the outstanding loan balance by the annual rate of interest, then dividing the result by 365. Pre-approval. A mortgage pre-approval is a document from a mortgage lender to you, 
stating that they are ready to conditionally lend you a sum of money to buy your property, if a set of terms are met. Principal The principal is the amount of money borrowed on a loan. If you take out a $250,000 mortgage, the principal is the $250,000. And if you pay off $100,000 of the sum, the balance principal is now $150,000. Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act, RESPA. RESPA is a law enacted by the United States Congress to protect home buyers by requiring full disclosures of settlement costs and prohibit kickbacks in the home buying process. Imagine a realtor forcing you to use a lender that will be paying him a fee without RESPA. The law is to ensure that the real estate transaction is in your best interest. Right of First Refusal. Right of first refusal is a clause in an agreement that allows the holder of this right to be given an opportunity to purchase or lease a property first before such opportunity can be extended to the general public. Second home. A second home is a property that you live occasionally like weekends and possibly for vacation while owning another property as primary residence. Security. A security is the asset such as car, house or equity that you pledged as the collateral for a loan. If for any reason that you are unable to pay back your loan, such asset will be sold by the lender to recover his money. Settlement. Settlement is the stage in property acquisition process where the property is transferred from the seller to the buyer. This is the last stage in the property purchase. Short sale. A short sale in real estate is an action taken by a homeowner that is financially distressed to sell her property that is worth less than the mortgage she owed. In a short sale, the lender must approve the sales. It is usually an alternative to foreclosure. Treasury Index. A treasury index is an index based on recent auctions of the U.S. Treasury bills and securities used to determine interest rates for some adjustable rate mortgage plans. The index is based on daily yield curves of treasury auctions that are based on bid yields of closing treasury securities in the over the market. Title, a title is a legal document showing the ownership of a property. Trustee. A trustee in real estate is a third party that is neutral to the transaction who is chosen to hold the borrower's property usually the title, and trust until the loan is paid off. Truth in Lending Act, TILA This is a United States law that mandate the disclosure of credit terms in a way that borrowers can compare rates to other lenders. Underwriter, an underwriter is a professional assigned to approve or deny a home loan, using the lender's guidelines and approval criteria. You can check out requirement for conventional loan, VA loans, FHA loan and USDA loans on another video this channel. Uniform Residential Loan Application, 1003, URLA. This is the standard loan application form published by the Federal National Mortgage Association, Fannie Mae, and used by most lenders. Walkthrough. This is the second to the final step in a home buying process that allows the buyer to inspect the property in order to verify that the building is in the same condition that it was at the time the offer to buy the property was made. Variable rate, this is an interest rate type, that may be changed, depending on a rate index Kofi or Lieber. You browse through to check out how interest rate and how they are calculated on this channel. VA loan. This is a mortgage loan type that is guaranteed by the Department of Veterans Affairs, VA, for veterans and actively serving United States military forces. 
Check explanatory video for VA loans on this channel. Thank you for visiting our channel, hope you have learned something. Kindly subscribe and click on the like button. You can also browse through our channel for more videos of interest.